with the Buckers, Jonathan. And Brock are our conductors today. Our locomotive power is the Southern 4501 steam engine. For those of you who've not ridden with us before, we are what is considered a historic railroad, not a scenic railroad. Meaning the focus of our journey is going to be on the history of the rails of track donated to us by the Southern Railway. You're riding on one of the first railroads in the Chattanooga today. The line was completed in 1859 by the East Tennessee and Georgia Railway. East Tennessee and Georgia would make, merge with a number of other railroads. We've just crossed over our first bridge at the South Chickamauga Creek. In the water, the stone piers mark where the site of the original bridge was. And on those stone piers are the wooden decking and rails would have run them. The original bridge in that location was made entirely out of stone and was washed away in the flood of 1861. The roof of the tunnel was opened up to avoid maintenance costs. After the land was donated to the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum, we put a bridge over this gap. So today, there's a tunnel boulevard without a tunnel. It was excavated entirely by pick and shovel. As dynamite was not yet invented until 1867. Black powder could not be used as a geography. And here we are passing over Tunnel Boulevard, which I described earlier. Black powder could not be used as the geography of the Missionary Ridge consists of stratified limestone and loose dirt. Here in the open air cars, number 1,000. There is, at certain points in this tunnel, less than a foot of clearance between us and the wall. So please keep your hands inside the car. Entering the tunnel. If you're afraid of the dark, just close your eyes. Don't leave me about here by myself. 
if we had to turn this by hand. Guys, 80 times, so locomotive 4501, let's get started. Late. Ladies and gentlemen, 4501, number one, number one out of 182. 182 locomotives built of that class. That is an MS282 Mercado. 282, what does that mean? 440, what does that mean? Anytime you see the prefix on a number of a locomotive like 4501, all that's referring to is the wheel arrangement of whatever locomotive you're using and talking about. In the case of the 4501, you're talking about wheel arrangement, you're counting wheel sets. You have set of twins, set of twins. Well, the set of twins is what I'm here from. Put out those set of twins right there. There you go. Those two lead, those pilot wheels, that's the two. One, two, three, four. Those are larger driver wheels on both sides. Two, four plus four on both sides. Well, obviously, it's got kind of four of those on both sides. That's eight. And two chilling wheels underneath the cab. This locomotive, once upon a time, was hand fired. Now, if you go back to the Grand Junction Station and you see that 5288 that the same locomotive used to go by the Montreal Locomotive Works. They took the stoker of that locomotive and put it on the stoker. In other words, this was once hand fired. So we're going to call into the firebox like our other locomotive is, the 630. In this case, they have like a large auger screw that continuously feeds the coal from the tender end of the firebox. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps the fact that a steam locomotive is so absolutely fascinating is because of all the external mechanical parts, but I assure you, I think we're going right and correctly up in the boiler there that the mechanical parts on the external side of the of this locomotive would not, in fact, be working correctly. Gentlemen, the very first out of 182, and I want to emphasize, number one out of 182, and it's the only one left. The only one left. The only one left of 182 of this class. We are lining this locomotive up with track two. We're going to pull the locomotive off in a few moments with the engineer point from track two passing. Now your coach is on track one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have just used a 1916 turntable turn on 19 on the same locomotive around. Now what's going to happen is this. The engineer is going to take the locomotive off the table all the way down to the other end of the yard. Now get clear of the switch, switch it back to track one, back up and recouple. Listen, 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 listen. I would say this very closely and very adamantly. Meet me down there at the end of the train where the red flag is posted with the turntable. The turntable, I'm sorry, my apologies, my bad. The walkway where the red flag is posted, right there at the walkway. If you stop there, we're going to walk over to that taller belt behind me as he brings the engine off the turntable.
Oh, trust me, I want to get back that we have a time to get that looks like they're great. In just a few minutes, we'll be arriving back at Grand Junction Station. We do thank you for all. We do thank you all for riding with us today at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Hope you did enjoy your excursion with us. If you do choose to visit with us again in the future, we do have many other longer trips available, ranging from one to nine River Rail Adventure out of Ottawa, Tennessee. Once again, please remain seated. Once we come to a complete stop, we will let you know when it is safe to, to head to the exit. Also, don't forget to go back into the station and have a look around at the fantastic items in the gift shop and the drawing. Don't forget to explore the artifacts and equipment in the display.